Puff Buddy Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89. Today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for P P P P P P chapter 17. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course uh, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored, and I'm just on a non-stop high-speed struggle train heading into chaos and. Mm -hmm. It's getting faster by the second. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking, feel free to hit up my Cash App and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So I really feel bad for Mimin because all she wants to do is play the music her way. She does. And she feels like it's gotten to this point where she has to play the music the way other people want her to play it to get noticed. Um, and it shouldn't be that way at all. And now it kind of makes sense when, you know, you, um, remember what was said a couple of chapters ago about throwing away the genius and it makes sense. Mimin has to throw away the genius to just really, you know, be able to be free. I totally understand it now. I get it. Anyways, what she wants to do is kind of fucked up in order to be free is to, you know, bring everyone else down. Nah, that's the wrong way to go about it. It really is. But anyways, let's get to chapter 17, see what's in store for us uh, this week. And this chapter is titled Analyzing Elise. August, summer vacation started. We are currently heading to the mountains. Huh? What happened? Wait, another lose in your banished battle? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, um... After that, uh, after that, a large crowd gathered and caused a big commotion. She kept calling me a lookalike until her assistants dragged her away. I'm a little surprised. I thought you'd say something like, I'll save you. Yeah, it's true. It's rare for you to be competitive. I thought it wasn't right, but it's also true that Mimin is, how can I put it? I want to fly. Uh, she's scary. She'd say something like she wanted to fly and would really try, uh, try to jump off the roof. Mom! If you... <laughs> Mimin is just a free spirit, let's be real. If you want to stop her, you have to be super determined, uh, because Mimin's stubborn. Uh, what's with all these scared people? The competition's supposed to be straightforward, uh, but there's more to worry about with, uh, regard to Gakuen, um, Otogami, Gakuen Otogami's desire for banishing people since, uh, Furusu is competing as well. Yeah, kitties! I'm not going to lose. Well, you better not lose! Um, Furusu, did she say she wants to... Wait. Furusu did say she wants to defeat an Otogami. Oh, fucking A, I fucked this up. Yeah, Furusu did say she wants to defeat an Otogami. I won't lose to you either. Let's do our best at the training camp. Yeah, that's right. We're in the mountains for a training camp. Do you want to go to a training camp over the summer? Um, uh, it, it's in the mountains. My friend is a brilliant otaku and owns a house. That's the perfect spot to prepare for uh, Mimin Otogami. Oh, it's like a temple. A week here. Mm. Where's uh, Maloli? I thought she was supposed to get here before us. I wonder if she messaged me. Oh, she's running late. What? Whoa, Reijiro, like, send a shit ton of message messages. I have a lot of messages from Reijiro. Reijiro, oh, Reijiro, so sweet. Let's head inside. Hello? Um, anyone home? Uh, there's so many trees. It reminds me of Mimin's, uh, for Elise. Beethoven composed the song in 1810. Elise's identity is unknown, but there are theories. The most popular one identifies her, um, as Beethoven's, uh, Theresa Alfati. The Mi Re Mi melody that repeats throughout can be read as, um, E, uh, Dies E in German. If you read the in harmonic, uh, Dies As, um, D, oh wait, Dies As, uh, S, it's E S E. And that's close to how Elise is spelled. That's why Beethoven kept repeating himself, calling out for Elise. He would change how he would say her name uh, through the music's composition. <sighs> this is hard. This time, uh, Melody taught me everything. Um, or Malali taught me everything. I didn't do the analysis myself, but it's still really difficult. Wow, there's meaning within everything in the music. Well, here's the thing. Music can mean... It's, art should be able to um, be interpreted differently by everyone. Yeah, Beethoven had his... It's important to learn the history of, uh, of the piece, sure. But just like what we saw with Mimin um, when she played the, played the piece the first time, she had her own interpretation of it. 
and people should be able to do their own inter interpretation of the piece and see how and see um, how they see the piece. I need to respect the music. Yeah, you need to respect the music, but you also need to, you know, make it your own. Because if you don't make it your own, then what is it? It's just a it's just a piece of music. But can I really do it? Start from scratch before the competition? Maybe you don't have to start from scratch. No, huh? Yo, Lucky Sonata, I'm uh, Sadami Hino. I love Hino's design. Hino is so cute. Huh? No one's here. Hey, where's Sonata? Sheesh. Uh, um, is this Sadami Hino? Um, Sadami Hino? Yeah, I'm Lolly's friend and the owner of this house. Uh, the homeowner is a genius otaku who collects information. He seriously seriously knows everything. He can help um, help us come up with a plan against Mimin no Otagami. And you know what? This is perfect because remember the first time Mimin played the piece? It was, um, they were magical girls that we saw. And this guy's an otaku. I see what you're doing here. Sensei, uh, sensei I don't want to lose. But realistically, do I stand a chance against an Otogami? Against Lucky? No. So then you don't expect much from me. Hmm, I do. You're about to transform into a monster, but to do that, you need to have an epiphany. Yes! I agree. She needs to have an epiphany. She needs to, like, Furusu needs to have, like, her, her well, obviously a Lucky moment. But um, she needs to have, like, I feel like the best way to describe it is to have her Kai moment, like her Piano No Mori moment, where she figures she figures it out. She figures out, like, what she wants to create with the music, like the image she wants to create, uh, the imagery the, of what she wants to convey with the music. What does she want to say with the piece? Because... Something with music, it's kind of like how what I've been saying with manga to anime adaptations. It's it, The music is the blueprint. Um, the sheet music is the blueprint. And what you do with the, um, with the piano, with the instrument, whether it's a piano, whether it's uh, your voice, um, whether it's, uh, um, whether it's, you know, the paintbrush, because you have the, um, the blueprint being the, uh, the, uh, the theme, the motif, whatever. What you do with it is, uh, what you do with it is up to you. How you want to convey it. What message do you want to get across with it? And it'll be interesting to see what Furusu does. I'm very curious what Lucky's going to do with it. I really am. Is Lucky going to have something where he calls out to Mimin? That would be very interesting where he takes this piece. Because the thing is, is with Mimin, actually, I'd like to see this. Because the thing is, is with Mimin, is Mimin is very lost right now. She is. Because she wants to be free. But she's going about it the wrong way. And she doesn't know really know what to do. She doesn't. And... Lucky is trying to find her through this mess. She is, and you know, and help her out of this forest of because we saw this forest of pianos. Dude, the piano Mori realness, man. God, Apollo, I see what you're doing with this shit. Um, and try to find her in the piano in this forest of pianos and bring her out of there. And you know, he was talking about um how um. Mimin would like to fly and all this shit. Well, he's going to help her out. Of the, he's going to help her in the get out of this force by flying above it to show, convey that she is above all this. Dude, Paul, I am giving you ideas here. That would be so beautiful. Like have her and, you know, her magical girl outfit and have an Apollo will have her fly you know, have Lucky convey the piece where he helps her fly above the trees, those piano trees that we saw, and have it be like, see, you're above all this bullshit. You're above all these expectations of you. You don't have to do all this shit. You can do what you want. 
You can break free of all this and do what you want to do. Fuck all these people. Fuck all these judges. Fuck, fuck what dad wants. Fuck them. Do what you want to do. Be free of all this. Throw, and as you know, um, as it was, oh God, as, a uh, um, oh gosh, what was her name? Fuck. I totally forgot her name for a sec. Um, shit. As, a uh, um, As Malali was saying, what she did, and this is why we saw Malali before we saw Mimin. Malali, remember what she said? She had to throw the genius away. That's what Lucky is going to convey. That, you know, to fly above the forest of technically genius. To fly above the forest of genius, uh, uh, the genius forest and just throw it all away and be free. And to do what she wants to do. I think that's what Lucky is going to do with this. I really do. I'm very curious what you guys think in regards to this. I think that would be the right way to go about it. Um, I can actually, I actually can picture it in my head how it would go. And it would be very powerful, actually. It would. Oh, my God. Apollo, I can really picture how you would do this. It would be beautiful as hell, and it would be powerful as hell, too. And if it is the way I think it's going to be, then it would everything would just connect beautifully. I hope you go this route, Paul. I really do. I'm really hoping so. I really do. We'll have to wait and see, but that's my guess on how Emma Paul is going to connect everything together with the magical girl, with the music analysis. Um, and with, uh, with the piano force that we saw. And yes, and now I'm thinking about it, that is that little connection to Piano Nomori. Yes! Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more PPPPPPP content, a few ways you can do that. Donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.